Baltimore. Ironically, the man sitting in the middle was the starting pitcher of that game as well. And uh, uh, Rocky walks in uh, his first at bat, and then his four consecutive home runs. Uh, we were joking with Gary a little bit earlier that it was a good thing he had four home runs and drove in six runs because his pitching line was a little. Yeah, you could have left that out. <laughs> 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 the PR director. <laughs> Take us through some of those at bats. After this question, uh, we'll get into some questions from the audience. So be ready, uh, those of you who want to uh, ask for these two gentlemen. Or actually, I have one more after that before we dive into you. But please take us through the, the final four at bats. Uh, the way you win six runs. You walk your first at bat. Right. Jerry Walker was the pitcher. They had that one they called the Kitty Cole Center. And Jerry Walker, Bill Pappas, Steve Barber. I mean, they had a hell of a pitching staff. And uh, let me just insert one thing more than one thing. You know something? I could never, I could never fathom why we didn't win. Because we had, we had some great pitchers. We had Gary, we had Dowell, we had some receiver, we had Steve Morgan. I mean, it blew my mind about that. We didn't win more than we did. So, but anyway, getting back to that, uh, second time up, uh, Jerry Walker threw me a fastball and I hit him. I hit it up in his seats, but it was borderline whether it was going to be fair or foul. And it was high. Okay? I hit a little bit of the bottom of the ball, but I knew it would go out. I mean, I knew it was all right. So I stood right there and watched it for myself. So, you know, if he called it wrong, I could jump on that one. <laughs> so, but it wasn't. It, it, it was fair, and it was a home run, and, and I rounded the bases. So, go in the outfield, right? And, uh, is the stand Gary's pitching, and Albie Pearson, I don't know if you folks remember, he was a little short, he played right field too much. Uh, maybe center, very good. The center, right? And uh, he was a good little player, he was a man, he was a good snapper. Yeah, right, there you go. Gary says, worth your year, I didn't remember that. He was right. Uh, now that you bring it up. Anyway, uh, I went out to the outfield, and Albie Pearson's up. It's a line drive down the right field. I run hard towards the line, and, and I make a decent catch. It wasn't uh, a diver. You want to be a diver? No, you should have dove more than that. You told me. You should have dove more. I don't know. 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 the ball and as I'm catching the ball I got it, right? And this guy has a full cup of beer that would do that felt like it. He went like that. And he threw it right in my face. And I mean in bullseye, right in the face. Oh, I was upset. <laughs> to say the least. And I go to this and I whatever. I challenged him. I said, I'll meet you after the game. And he said, I'll be there. I said, you bet. <laughs> so, you know how you tie the wall when you're young, strong. So Go up and I'm at the second time. Now Arnold Porta Carrera has relieved Jerry Walker. Now you gotta remember one thing. I was three for twenty-eight coming into the game. And around the batting cage, uh, Harry Jones, who was the beat writer at the time, uh, said to me, he said, Hey Rock, he said, when the hell are you gonna come out of this slump? Well I never would use that word. Slump, I said, What are you talking about? What slump? And he said, Oh come on. He was being realistic. He was a pretty serious guy. And he said to me, you know what I mean? I said, well, I, I am having a tough time. And I said, I was 3 for 28. You know? I said, I was having, I'm having a tough time. But I said, well, hey, well, you never know. I said, it might be tonight. I don't know. But he said, he said, I'm dealing with that conversation. So now we'll go back for the second time up, or, or a third time up, really. The second time up. Regular time. And uh, Arnold Porter Carrera, as bad as you can go, you can pop up a pitch right down in the middle and when, when you're going lousy. And well, then when you're going better or good, whatever you want to call it, uh, yeah, it just changes up. He threw me a slider down and away. Don't ask me how, I get it over the left side of the line. Line driver, I'm Then, uh, I go, I trot out to the 
the outfield and, uh, and, and this span, uh, I look up at him and I'm making sure he's there. <laughs> <laughs> then I go up the third time. Okay. Okay. And uh, Arnie Porterbrero throws me another pitch in a similar area. And I hit that one over the left center center fence, you know, between left center and center. A line drive, both of them were line drive. And uh, okay. now I got three home runs, right? I go back out to right field. And uh, they, I get a standing ovation from the ball one. Fans, including this guy. He's up there. <laughs> away. Now, you know, all of a sudden he takes the wind out of his sail and you're not angry at him anymore, you know. Anyway, then I come up the fourth time and uh, the pitcher is Ernie Johnson, who at that point had not given up a home run. He was what they call today their closer. He's the, had been doing really well. And uh, I hear tell after this, after I, you know, Later on, he came back to me, and he said, I'll show you how to get him out, you know, and to his teammates in the bullpen. So I come up, and, I'm, and, and on my, as I'm going past from the dugout onto the field, my roomie, Herb Storr, is sitting right at the edge of the, uh, the dugout, and he's saying to me, hey, roomie, don't fool around. Go up there and hit the fourth. And I turned around, I looked at him like that, I said, are you kidding me? I said, I'm three for 28 coming into this game. I'll be happy if I get a fourth in, I'm four for four nine. That's what I have in a week. So he said, he said, BS, you know, boom. And he said, do it, hit it. So I, I went on, I got up the bat, and Johnson throws me the first pitch right under my chin, back at the arm, right? So I go like that, I let it go by. I could see good. <laughs> <laughs> He thought that I was going to look for the ball down and away because that's what they usually do, you know, push it back, throw it away, and screw you up, you know. But I didn't. I just said I'm looking for the ball. Where, where was the pitch? <laughs> we have more gyms now than we did then. If I'd have to go in, you would talk to me. Thank you. 